I'm next to the Vaal River, one of the most important rivers in South Africa. And close to the site of Anglo-American thermal coal New Vaal Colliery, where new water is contracted to purify mine water as part of Anglo Coal's commitment to more sustainable and environmentally responsible mining practices. New Water Design built and commissioned a 15 million litre a day mobile and modular water treatment plant here at Neval Colliery. The plant produces up to 20 million litres of purified water every day and uh, it is the largest mobile and modular plant of its kind in the world. We believe mobile units gives us a large amount of flexibility that um, you can build a plant and scale it out and make it larger and smaller as you need it. Uh, we're also able to install it extremely quickly so we can have water produced within weeks instead of months. We also get a very fast return on our investment and largely it also allows us to remove the plant and deploy it elsewhere where it might be needed. Situated on the Free State Bank of the Vaal River in South Africa, the Anglo-American Thermal Coal New Vaal Colliery was established in 1983 to exclusively supply coal to the Eskom Latabo power station. The Vaal River is a vital source of water for industry and agriculture and supports around 12 million consumers in and around Gauteng, the economic heartland of South Africa. The mine wastewater resulting from production processes and the rainwater runoff used to be stored in a large reservoir and left to evaporate. Now it's channeled to the new water plant, cleaned and pumped to the power station's cooling system, resulting in a cost-effective cycle which reduces water extraction from the river. Anglo-American Thermal Coal strives to maximize the use of mine-affected water as much as possible. But where there is an excess, we need to treat that water in order to be able to use it in other processes. I think water is a finite source and there are many things that drive the demand for water. Growing populations, urbanization, climate change. And as a result, we're always going to find that there's going to be stress on our water resources. I think a project like this, although it doesn't provide water directly to people, goes a long way in helping in reusing water from industry instead of taking water from another source. And I think taking water to the people and treating water closer to where it's needed will also help address those things. There are other sources like the ocean, so desalination and water reuse I think will go a long way in starting to address those objectives in the years to come. New Water invented the 16-inch reverse osmosis technology in South Africa. It was pioneered at one of the world's leading sewerage wastewater reclamation plants in Singapore, where wastewater and seawater desalination are common practice to supplement insufficient rainwater catchment areas. It is now back and being used in Africa for its socio-economic and environmental benefits.